so hello everyone it is jeff beauty 87 here and today we're gonna get into part two of my xx revolution purchase remember i told you all a while ago i ordered the stuff but like it didn't show up in a timely fashion and i literally just got the second box this week with the um hourglass palette dupes and things of that nature so we will be using that today and i'm super excited because that was the thing i was most excited about in this video to begin with sorry y'all i'm just moving stuff around because where i'm sitting it's not that much space but that's because i got a whole bunch of other stuff i'm got sitting out there i need to review for other days but anyway so i have the conceal xx super fix concealer i bought the shade 12.2 i believe yes 12.2 i'm scared of this product just like i was scared of the foundation which i'm currently wearing if you all didn't see the first video i wear the shade 13.7 and i bought the um what do you call it I bought the matte one. They had a glowy one. I saw Neon MUA had put on the glowy one and he was talking about how their shade range is terrible. And I'm like, yeah, that's, remember I told you all in the first video, I was scared to buy this and the concealer because I feel like their shade range is just terrible when it comes to people my skin tone. Like right now, I feel like my undertone looks gray on camera and I'm not gray. But I used their Primer Cloud Complexion um, Primer. I really, really like this primer. I, if I recommend anything from this collection, I would recommend this for sure. This stuff feels amazing. Like it feels like the um, water cream from Tatcha that you're rubbing on your face, but it primes it really nicely and it makes the uh, and it blurs out your skin pretty good too. So I would recommend that. But we're gonna try this concealer today, and I hope I look okay and not crazy. Cause last time I had to use concealer to make this foundation likable to me in a yellow undertone, and I feel like this ain't gonna have a yellow undertone I'm looking for, and I'm be mad. So I'm gonna get some back. I'm gonna grab some backup concealers if I don't like the way this looks. But looking at this shade, I don't. I don't know. It's supposed to have a gold undertone, but to me, it looks like it has more of an orangeish vibe going on. But it could be the matte bottle. I hope that is the matte bottle and not, you know, just something else there. Um, I have the two. I got another one of the bronzers, even though this isn't a part of um them. This is Revolution Pro. But I bought the sculpting bronzer with moisturizing cocoa extract. I got the color. What is it? In robe. This was sold out for a long time, so when it came back in stock and I had to order the X, X Revolution stuff, I just went ahead and bought it. It just came to, um, where's that place? Um, Ulta, I think like this week, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has more of a reddish undertone that I like to have in bronzes during the summertime, so it's definitely a vibe here for me. And we're going to try it out today. And So we're just going to test out some more stuff from XX Revolution and um, what's that other brand? Um, and Revolution Pro. So I got these two face palettes. These were 20 bucks a piece. I'm sorry, I think the concealer was like 15. If I remember correctly, this bronze was 11. So these were 20 bucks a piece, but these are what I was most excited about. The packaging on them is really nice. So this one's, uh, and I found out that this brand from them is supposed to be like infused with skincare. So it's like makeup and skincare combined, which explains a couple of things like why the primer feels the way it does. Cause like I just said, it feels like the water cream. It's because it's supposed to be part of a skincare um, and makeup hybrid type thing that they're doing, which I think is actually pretty cool. And I'll say the same thing Neon MUA said. I feel like they come up with unique ideas, but they just don't execute them well. Like their foundation. It's nice that you have 55 shades, but it reminds me of like the Morphe foundation. Again, just like Neon MUA said, because it's like the shade range is like terrible and weird. And But I feel like that's like what every foundation they make. Like it makes my undertone look gray. And I always have to find a super yellow concealer to pull it off with. So I can never use like their concealer and their um, foundation together because it's not going to look right. Like I'm going to look crazy. And to me, that's not a good vibe. I want to be able to use all products from you. Also, I did order the um, bronzer from Minted. Now, I wish they'd come out with the concealer I keep asking them for. But, you know, they keep coming out with everything else except that. They didn't came out with eyebrow products. They didn't came out with um, this bronzer. It's like, where's the concealer I've been asking for? Anyway, this ain't about them moving on. I just felt like I should share that I had got it. But this is what the powder looked like. I got the darker one. Um... Because the lighter one looked like it wouldn't bronze me that well. This is more of a contour for sure. Like, look how dark that is compared to me. But I think that's good because that means darker people could have, you know, have an option as well. It's just I'm going to have to use that other bronzer because I feel like trying to use this isn't going to work. We're going to try to use just a little bit of it. But I don't see it working too well. I feel like I'm going to have to put the bronzer on top. I am going to not use this highlighter today. And I'll probably use the blush. I don't know. Since my eyes are blue, I don't think a blush will work well for this. But... You know, I'm going to change my eye look later on today because I have other IG videos to film. So I figured we'll go ahead and use the blush anyway. 
not a highlighter we're not going to use because I bought their whole highlighter palette. So I might mix this highlighter in with one of the highlighters in here just so we can see how they look. But I will swatch everything in here even if I don't you know, use it, which I just said I wanted. So this um, is the highlighter palette they have. It's, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a dark skin friendly version of the one that they came back with. Like they had for the holidays or whatever that um, Hourglass did. I'm assuming that's the one they're trying to do. I don't know, like we all know, Hourglass doesn't make anything for anyone past like medium, so I wouldn't know how their formulas are because they don't make them for me, which is why I was so excited that XX Revolution decided to come out with these palettes because that's the only way I'd get anything close to be able to compare it to two. So this is what the highlighter palette looks like. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a finishing powder and then this is supposed to be the highlighter, and then this is supposed to be the highlighter. I don't know if this is supposed to be a matte highlighter. I don't really remember it saying online, so we'll try it out and see how it goes. But I just want to show you the other things I had got from the second time that I had told you I ordered, which is crazy because this was the first order I made. I ordered the foundation and other stuff separately, uh, secondly, but because like I told you, I really didn't want to get it at all. But here we are. Um, let's get started with this concealer. Um, did I read what it said on the box? Or does it say anything on the box? It says it's crease proof, life proof, full coverage concealer. Stretchable formula with no flashback. Hmm. Yep, that's pretty much all it says. It has 0 0.45 fluid ounces, if anybody cares. Um, so let's see what it looks like. this interesting doe foot to it oh the color doesn't look like bad on camera but let's see how it looks on my face in real life because you know that's gonna be the real test um, yeah, yeah. okay so the color isn't looking too bad on camera or in real life but i'm wondering how well it's gonna you know blend out and look once i add my other products i'm glad i already had the foundation on because I've been trying to cut down on video time because I feel like, you know, my videos be a bit excessive sometimes, like when I first reviewed this. But in all fairness, when I reviewed this, I gave y'all looks of other stuff and came back and did two check-ins instead of one. So that's why that one was so long. Otherwise, I feel like it would have been like, well, I don't really feel like I shaved off too much um, time. No, y'all, that weird look is, I feel like it's tingling underneath my eye and I don't know why. So I, I don't like that. <laughs> And I didn't have enough to do like the entire face the first go around. So I don't know how I necessarily feel about that either. But yeah, it's, this formula is tingling underneath my eyes. I don't like that. Did I bring the, okay. So I can set up. So I take my Nikia um, Joy sponge. So Nikia Joy cosmetic sponge and just, yeah, I feel like, I feel like a burning alcohol feeling underneath my eyes and um, it, I feel like it's a kind of like alcoholish type of sting. So, and the funny thing is, this is a part of that I wasn't afraid of. Like, I was like, I'm not scared to try the concealer because, of course, come the worst, I can highlight my face with it. And if the foundation matches, then, you know, it's fine. I feel like they do a little bit better when it comes to their concealers when it comes to matches as opposed to their foundation. Like, the foundation, they just need to stop, girl. They just need to stop. Reevaluate life, go find some brown people. Like, talk to Tammy and um, Patricia about, you know, the proper um, foundation tone for people, their skin tone. Cause it's like, y'all ain't got it. Y'all ain't got it at all. Okay, so the drying of this, it seems like it dries pretty quickly. But y'all saw, I don't let my concealer sit like a super long time. I mean, I let it sit because I have dark circles underneath there, but I feel like it didn't sit that long and it's a little difficult to blend. So I'll uh, keep that in mind. If anybody's curious about this eye look, I shot a video of it. It'll be coming. I don't know when. You'll probably most likely see this one. You can see this eye look. But I use my Viseart um, Grand Pro 3 palette along with the Koi palette to make a, a, this look. I mean, I think I'm sexy eye look. So there you go.
So yeah, the concealer isn't looking as bad as I thought it was going to. So that's it. I'm gonna put my second layer on. Y'all know I do two layers of concealer. That's because I um, do a lot of eye looks when I do it. Not to mention, I just have, you know, dark circles underneath the eyes. So I try to help them as best I can by concealing as much as possible. So I want to stick to the routine I normally do. So that way we'll know how it truly works. Because I feel like if I just put one layer on, then I'm not being true to what I normally do. And it's part of me failure to do what I normally do. So let's highlight the cheeks a little bit here. So, so far, it's cool. Um, I think I'm going to link Neon um, NBA's video down below just because his video was hilarious. I was like, child, I can't. And he didn't really like the eyeshadow quality either, like in the first one I did. I mean, I thought the look was okay, but um, like he said, it's like it wasn't that great. Like, I liked it just fine, but you know. It wasn't like something I need in my collection. Like I'm, you'll probably see I'm on my curry page just because I'm like, I got plenty of eyeshadows and that one wasn't like super exceptional to where I was like, oh my God, yes, I need it. So while we let the concealer sit for a little bit, let's try out the um, face palette. So I'm going to try out this darker shade of bronze and see how well that's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if I don't like the way it looks, after we blend out the concealer, we could just go in with the, um, you know, the other bronzer I showed you all, but... I'm just curious how this one works since it's so dark. So let's. I'm lightly tapping too because I'm like, I don't want to take out too much and then, you know, be out here looking crazy. Oh, it was not too bad. Um, I feel like it's looking like a little bruisey though. So I wouldn't just wear this on its own. Like I'd put this over a cream contour and then go in with a bronzer to, to help it out a bit because I'm like, I'm not. And I feel like it's not moving that well, but this isn't the bronzer brush I normally use, so that might be it. But just so you, if anyone's curious, that's how it's going to look on some of my skin tone. And I wanted to make sure I did that because, you know, I have those darker skin tone. And that's what you came here for. Um, let's go ahead and blend this concealer out. Well, I'll, just, I'll start with the bottom and just kind of blend my way up. Okay. So it's actually looking kind of good. Maybe because I didn't get the glowy one like um, Neon Emmy Way, I'm liking a little bit better, but the foundation, once I put my powders and all that stuff, usually um, I can make it work and look okay. But I knew better than to get the glowy one because it's like, you know, I have or the combination skin in the summertime. So I wanted to get something that, you know, like realistically would work better. Although my face is feeling kind of tight right now. I don't know why. And normally that's when I put on the products I put on. So I don't know what's going on with that, but maybe because I have a matte foundation, any matte can seal my face is like, uh, no, just no. Um, so I got a new setting powder to try out. I got the Selfie Ready Setting Powder and Banana from, who are these people? Um, Joa Beauty. I went to CVS and found them there. So I was like, I'll try it out. I think I had a 40% off coupon I needed to use. And I had already bought the um, Teddy Bear um, Foundation Brush, if you all remember. Because Andrea Renee said it was a good dude for the, well, Teddy Bear Foundation Brush by Will's People. Um, Too Faced. So I was like, I'll try it out. You know, why not? So I like the brush okay. They have a primer that I like. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Hourglass um, Veil Primer. So I like that. So I was like, I'll try that out too. Now this powder is a little lighter than, you know, I normally use. It's more like the older Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Powder. And I want to try that new one because it's a darker shade. And I'm really like the shade. This like, oh God, what does it smell? Powder has a weird smell to it. I don't know what that's about. But I didn't order any makeup revolution like powders. I know they had trans. Oh, this powder looks really smooth and nice on these eyes. 
hello sorry it looks on me a little bit darker i'd like a little bit better but um they had powder powders and setting sprays i just didn't want those because i don't know i've never i don't think i've tried any of their like powders when it comes to like loose powders and i know they have quite a few i'm sure between all the brands that they have but i just wasn't intrigued to try those or the setting spray but now that i know that this is supposed to be a skincare hybrid then i'm gonna probably pick up a setting spray to try and see how i feel about it but you know right now um i have enough setting spray to last me for a while like i'm gonna use like two or three in this video that's to set my face so after i use up some then i'll be more willing to try theirs but right now i just feel like i had too much oh god three this powder looks like it would have flashback and it looks like it's gonna rain outside today so i'm not feeling this powder anymore right now because i feel like if i try to take instagram pictures at night when i um do my eye looks because i usually do my ig instagram pictures at night that i will um you know do that okay yeah so this looks like it's not gonna be good when it comes to flashback just my opinion just looking on camera i'm not yeah no we're gonna take the essence my skin perfector loose fixing powder instant blur effect i got the color tan they have i think one more shade darker than this so i got the shade before the darker shade and it's actually pretty dark as you can see it looks like it's my skin tone and i'm not tan so i guess that's good and it does a pretty good job of blurring. It's six, I think it's five ninety nine or six ninety nine at Ultra. And I heard they expanded their um. If this is my new their new lipstick collection, so I was like, I thought that was cool, cause they only had I think eight originally, and you can find the original eight at CVS if you want to like actually go in a store and see the colors, cause I feel like when it comes to them in swatches, the colors never look the same as they like um appear on their swatches when you get them in person so that's something i don't like about buying their lip products online it's like is it actually gonna be this color though because i feel like they have a bad habit of having horrible swatches and then the colors not being what you expect them to be so that's my only thing about ordering from them i was like i know it's like reasonably priced and it wouldn't be that big a deal if i had to return or i just had to give it away because i didn't like that color but the fact is like if you order like two or three of them and then none of them are the color you want it's like did you really get a deal so i think they need to improve when it comes to that because they swatch it do not be looking the same in person but since altos have opened back up maybe they have all 20 shades on there and you can get them there i'm not sure i haven't checked for that lipstick since i did the essence in um elf video that i did a while ago so i can't tell you for sure all these products look nice together i'm out here thinking i'm cute y'all how are you doing okay so i'm going to use the elf beauty shield spray to set down all my powders And they had new colors of the um, setting powder that I tried before, the glow one. So I'm thinking about buying that one again and trying it out. Especially since they have a new setting spray that came out themselves. So I think about ordering that this weekend. I just did a review on their eyeshadow palette. Now we know I love luxury and high end. But at the same time, I know everyone can't afford that. And that's not always what I use. So I'm going to be true to who I am. I'll try lots of different things. It's just, you know. Since I am a high maintenance whore, um, <laughs> high end things usually just cost me more than, or drugstore things, or even like mid range things. Like high end and luxury are more just what speaks to my soul than drugstore. It's not anything wrong with that. That's just you know who I am. Um, so, yeah. okay um so this is what the face is looking like i think it looks pretty good let's get into um the bronzer i'm not going to use that other one like i told you all just because i feel like the color is a little bit too dark right there so we're going to take the what is this enrobe right here i'm just going to go in with that so where's the brush 
go back over the same brush and just use this one. I don't mind dipping this one more because I feel like, you know, it's closer to my skin tone so I can work it a little bit better. I think it's going to come up. Jesus. Okay. And this is more of like the bronzer tone I like. More reddish tone for the summertime. Now in the fall, I don't mind colors like um, Coco Naughty. But in the summertime, I want more Mocha Mommy type vibes. So that's why I'm using this one over the other one. Not to mention, I just feel like that one's a little too dark for my taste. If I was going to contour, then, you know, I'd be all about that life. But as a general rule, I don't contour, if you all haven't noticed. So it's just kind of not a vibe for me. But I'm really liking the way this bronzer looks. I will say, I feel like Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro or um, just the whole brand in general, I feel like they've been doing a really good job with bronzers lately. And that's good because a lot of brands don't want to make bronzers dark enough. I feel like they've been coming out like, hey. This is how you make bronzer for everybody. So, I would definitely give them their props on that. But part of the bronzer trend, they out here killing it. All the feels. This one is 11 Like, the $12 one, obviously, you get way more product and it's way better. But I feel like they're doing a good job of giving you a whole bunch of different tones as well when it comes to their bronzers. Because, like, this one has that reddish tone. But I feel like the other one, the big one that I got in the shade Dark, I feel like it gives me a more, like, Coco Naughty vibe. So it's like I got my Coco Nani and my Mocha Mommy and both of them were less than like, you know, $25 because this one's only 11 And then that one's 12 So, I mean, like before taxes, you paying $25 and you get two bronzes that, you know, you're not going to run out anytime soon. So I'm definitely here for it. It's definitely a vibe and it get my stamp approval for all of it. It's just wonderful. And this XX Revolution so far hasn't let me down either, which I'm happy about because I was expected to be let down as sad as that is. Um... Let's go into this. I'm thinking about trying to dust this underneath the eyes just to see if it's what I think it is, which is one of those powders that you um, dust under the eyes because I can't look it up on my phone because we're filming on the phone. And like I said, she doesn't have Wi-Fi. If she had Wi-Fi, I'd just look into my other phone and see my older one I used to use. But we're going to try this underneath the eyes and hope I don't fuck up my makeup there. So. Well, it's definitely brightening underneath there, but I don't think that's what this was for. Can y'all see? I feel like it's a nice sheen underneath the eye. I don't, again, I just don't feel like that's what this is for. Because I feel like it's giving me more highlight vibe. But that's okay, because I didn't, yeah, this is more like a matte highlighter. So I just put matte highlighter underneath my eye. I'm glad I didn't dust it directly underneath there, so that way it won't look too crazy. And I can play it off. You know, sponge it down a little bit, but you know, we, we learned and we loved. So just pat it on down. And now you can hardly tell it was ever there. The magic of this sponge. Okay. So I'm going to swatch all three of these. Ooh, that gold swatches amazingly. Now, I don't know who picked the tones in this palette. Oh, God. That looks great after I swatched it on my hand. Lord. But these are the three shades right here. So that's the one I put underneath my eyes. This is gold in the middle. And this is that orange shade, which I'm kind of confused about. Because to me, it just looks like some weird icy dream, wannabe like dreamsicle shade from um, Becca. That's what it reminds me of. But it's not giving me that excitement that I need out of it. But um, yeah, so now that I've swatched them, um, I kind of don't want to use any of the highlighters in here. Um, hmm. Let's open up this one and see what this highlighter looks like. I might mix this highlighter with the Dream Tickle one. So, this is what this palette looks like. Well, I just showed, I showed a little while ago, so I don't know why I did that again. But um, I'm going to swatch the highlighter in here to get an idea of how it's looking. Okay, so that's the highlighter in here. Um, It's giving me weird reddish vibes. Like, who picked these highlighter shades? Like, who did this? I'm not feeling any of these highlighter shades, to be perfectly honest, but it's like, you know, I was hoping I'd like them better in person, but it's like, I don't, though. Like, I don't. As sad as it is, I feel like I might have to just use a traditional gold one. Let me mix this orange one in and see if I like it with this reddish thing, because right now, I'm just not, you know. So, I mix that in with the red one, and that's what it looks like. I don't... 
to me it's giving like more rose goldish type vibes now that I mix that orange in. Um I don't want to be boring and use the gold, but at the same time, that's the only one I feel like I halfway like. Let me try mixing the gold and the red, and then y'all let me know how I feel about it. So let's take this red and mix it in with the gold for the bottom of the eyes. So that's the red with the gold right there. I think we're just going to do that because at least it gives me more like a, a bronze edge type finish. So I'm going to take my kaleidos h1 brush and just mix both these together i'm gonna start off with the red and then i think i'll just put the gold on top because i ain't feeling none of this i'll clap y'all it's already started raining okay so it doesn't look as bad on the skin but i just don't like i said i don't know who picked out these tones because this this is not not what i want out of life look how um, color for my eyebrows which is oh honey Um, now I'm going to take the gold on top of that. I think it gives like a cool fiery dimension to it when you add the gold on top of it actually. So if I had more of a fiery look on instead of a cool tone look, I feel like this would look really cool and really nice. But since I don't, it's just kind of like, oh, okay. Hmm. People just want to think I'm crazy. It's fine. It's fine. Let me throw some pants really quick because I'm not about to put the house with these shorts on in this rain. So I, I'm going to just do that mixture down the middle too so let me go back into the red one. Probably just realize I didn't. It's naturally mixed in already now because I put the gold on top when I did the eyebrows. So I don't need to dip back into the gold. I'm just dipping into the red to bring some more in to make this look come together. A little bit for the cupid's bow. And then we'll get into some lipstick. And then I will come back with a wear test even though it's raining. So I don't know. It's not going to be like good for humidity like I did with the foundation. Because I think it was like 90 something degrees when I did that. But, you know. Because this will be looking like... Let's put on some blush now. I'm going to put on a tiny, I mean, tiny amount of blush because I'm not necessarily, sorry about the motorcycle randomly coming down the street. Um, I'm not really feeling this blush color. Like, again, Neon and Mirage did the same thing I did. Like, it's just too bright of pink for me. Like, look how bright this pink is, y'all. Like, what, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I'm going to dip into it, like, once. And look, I only dip into it once. I got to tap off all that and just... It's nice when you tap it off, but since it picked up so much at one time, I was like, whoa. And that's what happens when you don't tap it off. You get all that. I tapped off that time. Y'all still see I got all this. pretty much the finished eye look let's go ahead and i mean not eye look face look let's go ahead and put on some lipstick and then call it a day so i found my um kaleidos lip tonic lipsticks or whatever what happened was i had a whole box of them at my at home and i didn't realize that um i hadn't brought the box with me i thought i had already brought the box over here but it was at home so that's why you all didn't get to see lipsticks in the Kaleidos video. So I figured we'd put some on now. I'm going to take this Gone Burgundy lip liner. And then I'm just pick one of these nudes and put it on. Because I'm supposed to be testing out lip gloss today. But I know I'm going to pick up food to eat. So the last thing I need to be doing is trying to, you know, 
do that. I'll just go ahead and There we go. Um, I'm going to swatch both of them so you can see what colors they are. But I'm most likely going to go with Infusion. It's more of a pinkish looking color from the frosted glass bottle I'm seeing. And then I have Injection, which is more of like a peachy nude. I'm more of a mauve pink nude person, if you all were not aware. So, I don't know. These don't seem like they have that much pigmentation to them. So, I don't know how I feel about that either. But they smell like vanilla cupcakes, so I like that. Yeah, these seem like a really liquidy form. I don't know how I feel about it. And they just seem really thin, too. Okay, so. This one is Injection right here. And this one is Infusion. This one, I told you I was going to use Infusion because it's more of my vibe, which is the new, which is the mauve pinkyish type nude. I don't know. That's what this one, y'all. It's so thin, y'all. So it's not giving me any type of real color to pay off. I don't like that. Also, because it's so thin, I feel like I have to build it up a lot. I don't like that either. So, so far, the lip products are not a hit for me because I didn't really like the lip gloss either that we tried in the video. I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Kaleidos. They're just not hitting for me like they're hitting for everybody else. But I hate to sound like salty or bogus or whatever. I feel like a lot of people, that's how it makes it seem like they're hitting and they all that. The people that get PR. I don't feel like I hear a lot of people that don't get PR from them saying that it's great. Unless they're just trying to jump on that bandwagon so they can't get PR. I'm not like that. It's like, I don't like your stuff. I'm going to just say it. And I don't know. A lot of times I'm not really a fan of Kaleidos stuff. Like this lip product I just tried on. I don't like it. And look at that. Where Where's the color? I feel like there's none. I feel like I put nothing on my lips. And they're charging. I forgot how much for these. It's like I don't like big products like this at all. So I just wasted my money. You will probably find this one on. Well, I don't know if I can put this on my car or not. Because I just swatched on my hand for y'all. But yeah, this, this seems like a stain situation. And I don't like lip stains. I want a lipstick. Not a stain. I don't see the purpose of lip stains when you after you're done eating you'll have a lip stain automatically. Why would you want to pay for a lip stain? It's my personal thing. But anyway, we are done. I will check in with you all later on today about the concealer and all the other products we put on our face to see how they lasted in war. So check in with you guys later. Okay, people, so I have returned. It's two different random ass eyes. I know. Don't judge. I just did a um two eye looks from one palette mashup type situation because I use the Natasha Denona um, Safari palette yet again and um, I use the Shapeshifter stack from Melt Cosmetics so that's what the, all the yeah that's all that is so let's do a lip gloss check in I have not I think I drank some cranberry juice since I put this on at like I want to say like 3 o'clock but I haven't like don't drink anything since then and as you can see they're both still on I feel like this side still looks more you know dewy and wet and plump and has a little bit more covering to it than the maybelline side but they both look nice and still wearing well so that's cool um the makeup i feel like this side looks quite a bit more oily than this side but in all fairness we did put the um matte one on this side and oily and the shiny one on this side if i remember correctly i'm pretty sure i put glass skin on this side and um the maybelline last lasting fix on this side so that explains why, um, you know, it looks the way it does. But um, overall, I think the face looks nice. I think the concealer looks pretty good, considering. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm getting a lot of creasing under here that I don't normally get, but I might just normally get it. And it could be the powder because we tried a new powder today. But overall, I think the face looks nice. I liked the foundation. We already know that. Um, I feel like I have to use certain concealers and powders, though, to make it work. And so far, the powders and um, powders in my arsenal have been working just fine. So, all oh, that looks good. Um, let's see. I feel like the blush has kind of disappeared on this side, at least. But I feel like feel, yeah, still feel you can see it on this side. And then you see a lot of, like, that contour going on that I put on earlier. Just to show you all, I didn't blend it out very well. But, you know, 
whatever I've, I've only been like two places i need to go get gas in the morning so i might do another wear test of the concealer with a foundation i would normally use and then make this a part two thing i don't know we'll see i doubt it though because i got a pretty good idea of how i feel about it and i like it okay i mean it works well with this foundation i want to see how it works with other foundations but we can talk about that in the current favors or update or something like that i was thinking about trying to do one of those again but when i normally do them you all don't really watch or seem to care so i'm like should i really be bothered it seems like you all like it better when i rank palettes as opposed to like just telling you what products i've been liking lately in general so that's why i don't do those videos as a general rule but you know whatever the highlight is still popping on my eyebrow if you have not noticed on both my eyebrows it still looks quite nice my nose is always oily i don't really know what primer I put on it just it's just oily it's just disrespectful but my smile lines aren't that deep i feel like it's deeper on this side than it's on this side maybe it's just me i don't know i really like that bronzer though but i feel like it's not lasting as well as i would like it to but i guess i'm so used to putting cream contour underneath before i put the bronzer on maybe that's why I don't know i'm just sitting out here on my porch because it was hot inside my house like i told you i don't have air conditioning i had to come back home to bring adrian game over back home so yeah but anyway that's pretty much it um i recommend either gloss it just depends on like pigmentation and wear time as far as they go because i feel like this one is more pigmented but this one wears all faster than this one does if my memory serves me right because i wore the color moon all week to work to get an idea and feel for the gloss and i felt like it lasted quite a substantial amount of time whereas you all know the fenty wears off and this one is cheaper it's only seven dollars and this one is 18 so just bear that in mind when you're buying but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope my random ranting was helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one bye oh remember you all the diamonds